Hello, my name is Emmanuel from France and last year I show you my mini touch. Uh, this is a, a DIY synthesizer. It's designed for kids, so it's easy to build. Uh, it's fun to play. It's polyphonic and it is standalone. It has its own speakers and battery. And you can also tweak your sounds and save your sounds. So this year, I'm very proud to show you the Minitouch second edition. It is bigger, so we have more notes on the keyboard, we have more knobs, and you can really go deeper into sound synthesis. So let's have a look of what we can do with it. First of all, we can try a few presets of the Minitouch. So I am going to play the sound through this uh, little loudspeaker. It's not that great, but I want to show you uh, how it sounds like that, you know. Uh, so we have... Uh, this is like an organ sound. We can try another preset. So this is a basic uh, waveform. Let's try another one. Okay. This is noise. Noise and filtering. So first of all, we have the keyboard. So like the previous version, it's a capacitive keyboard. We have 18 different sensors plus octave up and octave down. So this time I wanted to make my synthesizer uh, much more flexible. So I have added 16 potentiometers. And actually there is a shift button. So it's like you have 32 potentiometers, you know, uh, depending on the shift button position. And uh, you have a bunch of switches. You have uh, switches also here. So basically you can access all the features with these uh, pots and switches. And amongst the buttons we have here, there are the scales buttons. So you can choose different scale for different mood. For instance, if I play a major scale, this is very bright, but I can play a minor scale. And this is a different mood. We have also the pentatonic scale. And so on. This is the blue scale. I have added a portamento effect, so you can play chords, up to eight notes polyphony, but you can go to the glide setting and you will have a portamento effect. You can adjust the time, faster. And for the fun, I have also added a samples player. For instance, here I have loaded a percussion kit. To create the sound presets, you can of course use the knobs and switches. Uh, it's complete, but it's not very convenient if you really want to tweak the sound. So I have designed a MIDI panel with the software controller, which is an open source software. So let's have a look uh, what we can do with this panel. Here is the MIDI control panel. So you can see here what we have in the mini touch. We have uh, two oscillators uh, with different settings. We have uh, a noise generator here. We have filter, 
we have LFO, preset management, FX, we have of course volume, range, transposition and tuning, scales, portamento, uh, we have a pitch envelope which is quite fun to play with and we have FM modulation uh, for the first oscillator. So when you want to create a new preset, you just select uh, an empty slot. You can, uh, for instance, okay, that's uh, the sound we have at the moment. And you tweak all the settings the way you want. I am going to do it randomly, uh, see what it does. I'm not very confident of the result, but see. Okay, up, let's do this. Uh, right, I'm going to add some FM modulation. Okay, delay, reverb, feedback. Uh, of course, it's rubbish, but it's just to show you how it works. So when you're done, you just press the save button and it's in preset 13 memory. And that's it. The mini touch is MIDI. It can receive MIDI messages from your equipment and software, but it can also uh, act, I would say, like a small pocket MIDI controller if you want to interact with your equipment. I hope you have enjoyed the presentation. If you have some questions, feel free to ask. I will do my best to answer. And uh, well, see you soon. Yeah.